Uh, not quite as complicated as the hematology world, but uh, we're getting there slowly. My disclosures. So we're going to talk about uh, a couple of different uh, areas that are have practice changing uh, implications. We're going to review some adjuvant therapy. We're going to go start to give a little on stage two, then stage three, and then transition to metastatic disease. We'll talk about tumor sightedness, the uh, subgroup of BRAF mutations, and the MSI uh, immunotherapy uh, uh, advances and make a comment, hopefully, on a, a salvage treatment uh, that has uh, been recently updated at the ESMO uh, GI meeting. So um, we know that stage two is a, a group that um, haven't seen a lot of progress in quite some time. I just want to uh, illustrate here the fact that the T4B uh, uh, population has pretty poor outcome, and it's worse than a lot of the stage three groups. So we need to certainly keep this, uh, this group in mind, because there's uh, uh, quite a bit of the need to improve the outcome of these particular patients. And I just, uh, from prior studies in stage two, uh, T stage is certainly a very uh, uh, powerful prognostic marker. You can see T4 versus T3. And the MSI uh, high patients do much better. And the MSI uh, frequency is highest in stage, well, high in stage two, about almost uh, probably 18, sometimes up to 20 percent in studies. These patients have an excellent survival, better than 90 percent uh, five-year survival. So we need to keep these uh, in mind as universal screening uh, is taking place, that when we identify these patients, they do not need any uh, subsequent treatment. They just need follow-up. Uh, we know from previous data published showing that uh, Full FOX was not superior to 5 fu leucovorin in the high-risk stage 2 population, as shown in the mosaic trial. So it does not provide rationale for, for treating the higher-risk stage 2 patients. But there's not enough T4Bs in these studies, so I still regard that population as requiring uh, adjuvant therapy uh, with the uh, oxaliplatin-containing regimen. So just to give some summary on stage two, addition of oxaliplatin has not been shown to provide significant benefit versus 5 leucovorin alone in the lower high-risk stage twos, but it cannot exclude some adjuvant benefit in the porous prognostic TNN subset, that is T4B. And the stage two deficient mismatch repair or MSI high patients have an excellent prognosis and do not benefit from adjuvant 5-FU. There was uh, no benefit whatsoever. In fact, there was even a, a trend toward worse outcome giving uh, 5-FU to MSI high stage two patients. And we certainly uh, need uh, better strategies to identify those who are going to recur, and uh, some data on ctDNA holds some promise. So we know that circulating tumor DNA uh, is a component of the cell-free DNA, which contains both ctDNA and some normal DNA from dividing cells, and it has the potential to detect minimal residual disease.